Hello, I'm Father James Kubicki of the Apostleship of Prayer. And if you've been listening recently to these little reflections, you know that I've been thinking a lot about Lent as a time to make sure we are headed in the right direction in our lives. There's another way of looking at this too. And I was reminded of this when I read something recently by an early church father named St. Gregory of Nyssa. He talked about keeping our eyes on Jesus. I think that's the same as keeping your eyes on heaven. But this is a reminder that our lives are not just a journey to a place, but to a person. Jesus is here, of course, in the Holy Eucharist, but he's also there in heaven. And if we keep our eyes fixed on him, we'll be less distracted by things around us that can get us headed in the wrong direction, away from heaven. Here's how St. Gregory of Nyssa puts it. We shall be blessed with clear vision if we keep our eyes fixed on Christ. For he, as Paul teaches, is our head, and there is in him no shadow of evil. As no darkness can be seen by anyone surrounded by light, so no trivialities can capture the attention of anyone who has his eyes on Christ. The one who has his eyes upon the head and origin of the whole universe has them on virtue in all its perfection. He has them on truth, on justice, on immortality, and on everything else that is good, for Christ is goodness itself. St. Paul bids us follow his example. Seek the things that are above, he says, which is only another way of saying, keep your eyes on Christ.